Hello and welcome to episode 41 of the Cloud Computing for the C-Suite show with Brad Nelson and internationally recognised and the world's number one cloud industry expert and thought leader David Linthicum. This show is sponsored by Nelson Hilliard, cloud computing recruitment specialist placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. In this week's show we will be talking about that the diminishing server costs have made it harder for businesses to resist the siren call of cloud computing providers and make sure you stay until the end to get David's top three tips on the cloud computing costs. Hi Dave, it's great to have you on another C-Suite show this week. Yeah, it's great to be here, and this is a great topic. I hear this all the time. I'm looking forward to addressing it. Yep, costs are a major deal when it comes to cloud computing. So let's look at it like this then as an opening question. Has it been that IT has been lying to the sea levels all along? Oh, absolutely. They just lie. If you hear something from IT talking, and obviously, no, I'm, I'm just kidding. I think that ultimately um, they kind of go along with, with the crowd, and they, they, they get into a groupthink mentality that, you know, cloud computing is always going to be cheaper than uh, traditional computing environments. That's not always the case. When you consider tax issues, you consider depreciation, you consider uh, investment in existing systems, uh, data center leases, things like that, you have to look holistically at what cloud computing can bring in terms of value, in terms of operational value. And that's what people are actually considering. Those are the metrics. We talk all the time about agility and time to market. I think those things are probably more important than the operational benefits. But if you're just considering operational benefits, you may find that cloud computing can be considerably more expensive. And I think that that surprises people. But you know, my point is that cloud computing is about the ability to enhance your business strategically, to allow them to change you know, we use the term speed of need, the ability to, in essence, as my business needs change, the market changes, I'm able to change as quickly as my market. Where I can't do that with traditional IT assets, I can do that with cloud computing assets. And so that's truly where the value is. But the thing is, the C, C levels aren't necessarily made aware of that. They're, they're, they're uh, told that the operational costs are going to be where they're going to make their money. And ultimately, you know, two or three years after the cloud computing systems are deployed, they look at the metrics and they say, well, I'm not having any op savings at all. I may have an increased cost. And so there has to be more thought in terms of what strategically this means. You know, if this is going to be about just reducing ops costs, then my uh, advice would be probably not even do it. If this is about looking at strategic value that it brings to the organization, chances are that's really, really where the value is going to be had. And that needs to be explained to the boards, to the CEOs, to the CFOs, and you know the people who write the checks. And it's not necessarily being done these days. Yeah, no, you're right. I mean, I was going to say, at what point do you think this really needs to take effect? I mean, obviously, going back to the initial consultation stage of implementing some form of cloud structure, uh, strategy or something, obviously. But I mean, in your experience, what's been the impact of the mistakes that have been made in that? Well, I think it's it's been a bit of a hangover with the, uh, the the C levels within the organization, the boards of directors, and they're told one thing, you know. And and to be clear, it's you know back in 2013, 2012, you know that if we start moving applications into the cloud, we're going to save a tremendous amount of some of the operational costs. But they're very savvy, and they look at the metrics. The CFO, in essence, breaks it out, and they realize that the savings isn't necessarily going to be there. And sometimes the IT folks will pivot to the strategic value and agility and time to market and things like that. So they read my stuff and other people who are writing out there in terms of where the real value is in cloud computing. And it doesn't necessarily make much of a difference to the people who are paying the bills. And so they want to have a real understanding of where the money is going, what value they're going to get back from it, and true metrics in order to measure it. you got to remember they're holding to not only a board of directors, but the investors in the marketplace. And that if this is going to change the business fundamentally, they need to be aware of what changes are gonna be made, what value can be brought within the organization or else it's just really not gonna be something that's gonna be viable going forward. So what this really kind of boils down to, cloud good typically, cloud is gonna save an operational cost sometimes. Cloud is typically gonna provide strategic advantage most of the time. However, we have to be open and honest to the C-suites in terms of what the risks are, what the reality is in terms of what this technology can bring and what it can't, and be able to, in essence, back it into cost metrics that boards of directors, investors, employees, uh, even people in IT can understand. We're, not, we're just not doing that now. We're, we're making assumptions 
um, that we think are very politically correct because it's, you know, obviously we think cloud is good now and not necessarily backing it up with facts and evidence. So your top three tips around this, Dave, I mean, it's crucial. I think we've, we've got to a real good point in the show now um, of, of really covering what, you know, cloud computing costs. Let's get to the nuts and bolts of it, how it's going to affect. Is it is it worth the jump? Should we be moving from a, an on-prem legacy system into the cloud? Maybe it's not the right fit for everyone, but what are your top tips around the cloud computing costs? Well, you know, it is, a, it is typically the right fit, I and mean, ultimately costs are holistic in how you're looking to move, and that's the core, core thing. And so... You know, this can't be one aspect of cost. This can't be, you know, ops cost savings or ability to shut down a data center. We have a tendency to oversimplify the cost metrics in terms of how we're looking at this technology. It's holistic within the company as to what strategically this technology can bring. And the reality is we, we thought about this when we moved to distributed computing, moved to the internet, moved to PC-based computing, LAN-based computing and then ultimately kind of the original computing systems we built in the 60s. We understood the strategic nature of the technology. It was very expensive, very risky, and how we leverage this stuff. But that has seemed to have fallen by the wayside. We have a tendency to oversimplify this technology and what value it's able to bring to the businesses today. Next, costs are hard and soft. So operational costs, I can measure those. Those are fairly easy to figure out. And I can give you exactly to the penny uh, what cloud computing is going to save from the operational point of view. But the soft cost, the ability to look at agility, time to market, things like that are much harder to measure. There's ways in which you can do it, but they're going to be customized for your particular business. The way in which you're looking at your technology, looking at strategically how you can take this stuff to the next level and, have to, and take your business to the next level. So if I'm able to leverage cloud computing technology to take my business from a, uh, you know, $20 billion uh, multiple to a $40 million, a $40, $40 million multiple in a matter of a year, that's a great investment, specifically if also, you know, the cloud-based system cost me a half a million dollars, but it has to be considered, it has to be built into the model. And then it costs need to be found. I think one of the reasons we're running the into cost overruns here is because we're not thinking about the people, we're not thinking about the processes, we're thinking about training, you know, thinking about insurance, thinking about some of the cost of depreciation, we're finding that accounting and tax issues are taking away the value in a lot of these different things. And so you have to figure out what those hidden costs are and how to really kind of come it out, how to, how to really kind of bear those out to see what kind of advantages you're able to have. You know, one of the things that I, I, I carry with me from project to project is people who are uh, CPAs, who could actually go through the records and understand these things. Uh, where technologists typically aren't equipped to make that, make that to, to, to understand how that stuff works, and I'm certainly one of them. Uh, but ultimately, this is a marriage of business and technology if we're going to make cloud computing work, and you need to understand the evidence that's there and how to really kind of take everything to a successful level. And that's, a, that's a hard thing to do, but I think we've got to be able to do it. Yeah, truly is, truly is. Great, Dave. Great top three tips. I've really enjoyed this week's show. Thanks for being part of the uh, C-Suite show this week. Always a pleasure, Brad. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. We really hope you enjoyed watching this week's C Street Show. Um, you can get David on Twitter, which is at David Linthicum. I'm also on Twitter, which is at Nelson underscore Hilliard. We're also on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, all the usual suspects. Um, yeah, and look, you know, if you've got any comments, please reach out to David or myself on Twitter and also down in the uh, comment box below. Happily take some questions there as well. Thanks for watching, and until next week.